video, I will demonstrate how to create an assessment plan template. You will need the completed and issued assessment file to attach to the assessment plan template. Log in to OneFile Keychain. Your OneFile accounts are displayed. Select your Center Manager profile. Your OneFile dashboard is displayed. From the menu on the left, select Quality. Quality option tiles are displayed. From the tiles, select Assessment Plan Templates. A list of assessment plan templates is displayed. On the page are a pick list of assessor templates, a search bar with Create New Template button, Records to Display Pick List, Search Criteria text box, Search button, Clear Search text box button, page navigation buttons. Search results list with three columns. Assessment plan template name, center ref. Assessment plan name, learner ref. And options button. In the search text box, enter the unit number or name you want to work with. I'm going to enter ITU00, as I'm interested in IT units. Your unit names may be structured differently and click the search button. Units containing the search criteria are displayed. In this example, you can see that there are two IT units. Each has one assessment. Assignment one. We'll create an assessment plan for ITU002 computer systems, assignment two, the best solution. In IT, when we update an assignment, we suffix the assignment number with the next letter of the alphabet, which is why the actual file name is Assignment 2C. So, this is the fourth version of this assignment. Your department may use a different naming convention. Select the Create New Template button. The new template page is displayed. On the page are Template Title Text Box, Assessment Plan Title Text Box, a task section, an attachment section, an additional information section, a feedback and comments or learners text area, and issues arising or learners text area. The template title is generally the unit title. The assessment plan title is usually the assignment number and title. The tasks section is used to select the assessment method, link the assessment template, Select who will start the assessment, detail the learner instructions which are automatically populated from the assessment template, and list the learning outcomes. You can edit the pre-populated learning instructions if you think further or different instructions are required. The learning outcomes have already been added when the assessment template was created, and only need to be selected manually if additional qualifications are added for this assessment such as when this assessment is used in a cross-qualification. The assignment file is also attached in this section and will be available to the learner to work from when they are working on the assessment. Additional information section, feedback and comments all learners text area and issues arising all learners text area are not usually used. Select the template title text box and, using your department's naming convention, type the unique title. Naming conventions are useful when searching or grouping by sorting list entries. Select the assessment plan title and type the assignment number and title. Select the Add Task button. From the Assessment Method pick list, select the assessment method, in this case, Written Statement. This should be the same as you selected when creating the assessment template. The window changes to the Edit Task window and reveals the Use Template optional pick list. From the Use Template optional pick list, select the appropriate assessment template, in this case ITU002 Assignment 2. The page refreshes, populating the learner instructions text area and the learning outcomes. From the Start by Pick list, Select who will start the assessment. This is normally the learner. Select the Attach button. The Learning Resources window opens. Select the Select Files button 
and navigate to the assignment PDF file. You can also open a file navigation window and drag the file to this area to select it. Once selected, the page refreshes displaying a new line detailing the selected file. If it is incorrect, you can delete it from the list by selecting the X button at the end of the row. Multiple files can be added from different file folders using this page. If you want to add further attachments, simply repeat this process. One additional file that might be needed for the student to download might be a witness observation form, for instance. If you are satisfied with your selection, click the Continue button. You are returned to the Edit Task page and the attached file or files are detailed in the Learning Resources section. Check the information you have entered is correct and if so, select the Save button. If you want to do everything again, select the Delete button. Select the Save button. You are returned to the Assessment Plan template list. Find the assessment plan template you have created using the search feature by typing some criteria and selecting the search button. The search results list is updated. Verify that your new assessment plan template has been saved. If all is well, your assignment is ready to be issued by our admin department when a student requests it through the semester website. To edit your template, simply select the Edit Template button and drop into the previous instructions at the appropriate place. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been helpful. See you on the next one.